you guessed it, we're back over here at Gayukaku. This actually just opened up in about a month and a half ago, the day before Christmas. So, we have all this fun stuff. So this is over here at the Flamingo Crossing. It's really about 15 minutes away from or from Disney World. So it's showing everything. And then this is the adult beverages. And this is the adult beverages. They got the Sapporo Draft. They don't have Orion beer, but that's okay. And then you have the fountain drinks and other stuff like that. Miss Amber is looking at the menu. I think I should give you to her to do the menu. No, I'm going to do the menu. All right, let's take a look at the menu. Gaiokaku. It's probably the same as all the other places, but hey, why not? So, by the way, if you ever come here, the Hamarami is so good. So delicious. Highly recommend it. And then you have your group deals. All ranging from $16 during happy hour all the way up to $210. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> and then you have the small plates, you have the salad and the soups, you have the beef. We always get the filet mignon, always get the two skirt steaks, and then uh, the cream sirloin is not horrible. This one's probably their best one too, but the hammerami is better. Amber doesn't like any of it, so I get an awesome meal. You have your poultry, the chicken teriyaki. In my experience, they don't have a lot of teriyaki on it, so we use a lot of those seasoned those, uh, sauces over there, which is blurry. Oops, this is blurry. Um, pork, <laughs> the pork belly is amazing. Amber loves it too. She doesn't really. And then you have all these other add-ons you can do. Yeah, you your veggies, you have your seafood, you have your rice, you have your noodles, it's not focusing, there we go. And then you have your desserts. Your s'mores is really cool because you can cook it over the fire. And then that is it. That's all she wrote. So last time we didn't get a soup, but she brought out the soup because she knew that we were filming and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're not big miso soup fans, but we can always try this one, see if we like it. Why not? So the, she already makes it, which you already saw. So this is really good. Uh, it's not like overly garlicky, but it's really tasty. And then I always have to fight Amber off for it because she always eats it all. She don't have the camera, so I can say whatever I want. <laughs> so this is how the meat comes out. It comes out raw, and then you cook it. Obviously, you guys already know this because we show it quite a bit. But this time we're going to do extra special stuff because it's a new, new location. Look at that yumminess. Look at that yum, 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 yum. So here comes a hammerami, and that is a pork belly. So delicious. This stuff is melt in your mouth. It's so delicious. Love it. But highly recommend in the hammerami. If you like skirt steak, Amber doesn't care for it because it's texture, I think, but it's still pretty good. And see, she's not even sharing. 
So what Brian didn't tell you is he has white rice. So don't let him fool ya. Huh, Brian? Sorry, it's working. Just say yes. <laughs> you ready? So about, uh, sorry for the music, so about a year and a half ago, maybe two years, they talked about opening up a second Disney Springs, and it was going to be called Flamingo Crossing, and, <laughs> and this is what it's going to look like. So it's going to be more of an open Feel mall. like a celebration type? Yeah. But the Target is super tiny. Yeah, we're going to go in there. But we're sure. We just ate here, as you just know noticed. And then over here, they have a couple more restaurants that are about to open. And it is walkable distance from the hotel that we're staying in. So you don't even have to like drive or move your car or anything. You're already here. Isn't that nifty? And there's a, what is this? Five below. Five below. No, five below. Five, five below is over here as well. But we'll walk the strip a little bit and show you what's around. So they do have a nail and spa place Hi. right next to Gaiokaku and they do a, I think Amber saw, they do a pa a cast member discount. Yeah, it shows right there. Oh, uh, it's inside there on the strip, on the uh, clipboard. Over here across the way, there is a, I almost said Tom and Jerry. <laughs> How old am I? A, a ben and Jerry. Over place is open. I'm excited to see what comes there. I know. Like it's kind of busy as it is, but it's and nice. Up here to the right, they have a brewery, which, according to Yelp, they don't have a lot of good stars. But do you really base it on other people's opinions, or do you still try it? We still try it. Sometimes, <laughs> not always. But they have, they so they do brew their own beers. It looks like, unless these are just props. But they have some uh, local stuff. It's called Persimmon. Persimmon. Persimmon Hollow. I was probably saying it wrong. We probably totally butchered it. So this is what it looks like in here. 
they have some games they have like darts and and all that kind of stuff it's kind of cool now if you're facing this direction where the cool little courtyard that's lit up to the right is five below there's a lot of people that i'm not going to show and then over here is walgreens and this is the way to target 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 i'm a okay I'm excited about that restaurant. So, rule of thumb, eat a guy Yukaku before you you do any more walking, because, yeah. That one. This restaurant right here, it seems like it's going to be pretty good. We don't know, it's going to be over here. So, guy is over here. Guy is over there, like, diagonal from that palm tree. The brewery is right over here. They have another restaurant. Capri. It looks like it might be Italian. Capri. Simply Capri. Simply Capri. And then Dunkin' Donuts is across Dunkin the Donuts street. Is over there somewhere. Yeah. And then and they have Firehouse Subs. They have that way across the street. What's that pizza place? Pyology. Pyology. And then and Starbucks and Walgreens. It's kind of nice. I think it's gonna be really nice. Walk. Like. Yeah. It's a nice night. They even have a UPS store. Uh, yeah. Which They're is really nice. So, over here, beyond all these buildings, beyond, 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 there are apartments. So, when we were over here at the UPS store, a whole bunch of cast members would come in in uniform or in costume. And they're like, ah, my apartment across the way won't let me do this, so I'm returning this item for Amazon and all that cool stuff. And then you see, you see busloads, literally, of cast members yeah. <laughs> from the apartments on this side. You do. So when we were in Hawaii, we went to a very small yeah, Target. Yeah, it had two stories. But it did have two stories. <laughs> so look how small this one is. Wait till we go inside. They do have a wine spare. They do have some grocery, but not a lot, and some clothes. But we're gonna go inside. You can see the back end of the wall. Oh yeah, look. You go, you see over by the end. That's funny. Cracks me up. Look, there's cast members. But there's this wine and spirit. And then here we come. We're coming inside. <laughs> Literally, this is it, guys. I'm not exaggerating. They do have some swimwear, some typical shirts that you get. And a couple other things. I lost my wife already. Where'd she go? She already left me. Like they have like bedding and stuff. It's pretty cool. But I don't know it's really small. They do have CVS though. I mean that's good. I caught Amber shopping again. Your your essentials. I mean it looks like a, a typical. Target, but half the size. Not even, um, probably a third. Yeah. Are you guys ready to see the uh, electronics section? There it is. <laughs> it's funny. Amber's not laughing. Though she's required to laugh, being my wife. I'm just kidding, there's more over here. But that's pretty much it. It was legally obligated to laugh at all my jokes for this <laughs> into eternity. Hey, look, they have uh, your colors that you want for your Wii. Or for your... Uh, yeah. Do you still need them? To play until we get the rest of our stuff. Do you want to use that or no? Look, there's all of this stuff as well. For those of us who splurge when they go to Disney, they do sell suitcases here, just in case you need them, which is kind of nice, because you know a lot of people go around to Walmart, run to all these other places to get, you know, different kind of stuff to bring stuff home. All from ranging from fifty dollars all the way down to hundred dollars. Of course, they have more more expensive ones, but those are kind of the more budget friendly ones. Now we're getting into the everyday life essentials. They have baby stuff. They have cleaning stuff. They have a whole bunch of other things that you guys might need. Laundry detergent, because a lot of these hotels have have stuff. But 
And look at all these other clothes on this side. Yeah. All right. So if you need snacks and everything for the for the parks, you can come right here. Or your hotel. Or your hotel. You can come right here. I didn't see any soft drinks. But I got chips, I got candy, I got popcorn, I have all this stuff.